A triad family now has closure after investigators solved a decades old murder case. Mary Davis disappeared in 1987 while working at a Lexington hardware store. Police found her body but could not figure out who killed her until now thanks to new technology. WFMY News' Susanna Jeffrey spoke with the family, grateful to finally have some answers. Photo albums hold the memory of Mary Davis. Thank you, Mom. Davis, a mother of two, was abducted and strangled to death nearly 35 years ago. They tell me all the time I look like her, and I act like her sometimes. Um, but my daughter, I actually named her Mary after her. Davis was last seen on May 30th, 1987 at her job. She worked at Lanier's Ace Hardware store in Lexington. Mary's daughter Tracy Davis was one year old at the time. I've always heard that she was kind and sweet and she had a lot of patience and she just liked people. While she doesn't remember her mom, there's now an end to decades of wondering what happened. But I think it was more relief that, you know, all these things my whole life that I maybe have thought about or it could be or it, it was proven. Lexington police finally solved the case. With genealogy advancements, they identified Russell Wood as her killer. We know who did it. Clearing Tracy's dad's name, Richard Davis. That's one less thing I have to worry about having bad dreams about and stuff. And bringing long awaited closure to a deserving family. Police admit they don't know of a motive and they may not ever know. The district attorney said in a letter that if Wood was alive today, he would be charged with kidnapping, murder and rape. The family says they plan to honor Mary this coming Sunday on what would have been her 65th birthday with a dove release. Hannah, thank you. Lexington police held a news conference today to explain how they were able to solve the cold case of Mary Davis's death. Detectives used new technology to resubmit DNA data gathered nearly four decades ago to identify the killer. The SBI, in partnerships with Othram Incorporated, undertook the complex process of utilizing the most recent advancements in DNA to provide evidence that led to identifying the offender. The family says the finding cannot bring their loved one back, but it's giving them some much needed closure.